What's going on guys, my name's Hypnostic and welcome to a brand new MWZ video. So for the new weekly challenge, we received a new conversion kit for the Moors, the Jack Widemouth Barrel. This conversion kit pretty much turns the Moors sniper rifle into a blunderbuss looking shotgun. Before we take a look at the build I'm using for the Moors, I just quickly want to thank Mitch Cactus for sponsoring this video. Whether you're interested in unlocking the MW3 weapon mastery camos, event camos, all the zombie schematics, or even just to play an easier multiplayer lobbies, our sponsor Mitch Cactus has you covered. With over 10,000 reviews on their Trustpilot page, they are easily the safest and most trusted boosting service provider out there. If there's anything you need in-game, they got you covered. So what are you waiting for? Head on over to MitchCactus.com and be sure to use my code HYPNO for an extra 5% off. So the build we're using for the Moors is as follows. We're using the Jack Widemouth Barrel Conversion Kit, which turns the Moors into a shotgun, the Verve Tack Stock for increased strafe speed, movement speed, and hip fire spread, the Verdant Hookbox Laser for increased hip fire spread, tax stand spread, and sprint fire speed, the Bruin Bastion Angled Grip for increased hip fire and tax stand spread, and last but not least, we're using Quick Bolt for a faster rechamber speed. Now that we covered the build I'm using for the Moors, I'd say it's time we head over to the tier 3 zone and see how it performs, so I'll see you all there. Alright boys, we made it to the tier 3 zone, as you can see we got the Moors conversion kit shotgun sniper thingamajig right here <laughs> really wonder how this thing's gonna perform i'm actually surprised we managed to uh shoot those symbols we do have someone coming in so yeah at least we got to do one for today let's just quickly get this thing here activated come on there we go look at that triangle nice start taking oh and they despawn <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's start. Okay, so it's a one-shot kill. Wait, hold on. Where are you boys at? There we go. That's yeah, one shot. Dude, what? Dude, what? How? Brother. Okay, so it's a two-shot against um, armored zombies, and it's a one-shot against normal. That's wild. Okay, so at range, it's a bit, you know, a bit how you doing. Oh, dude, the fire rate's actually crazy. Wait, what? Boys, yeah, this gun is crazy. What the hell? Hold on, dude. We used it in the firing range earlier, and uh, it was a bit, you know, a bit how you doing, but this thing's solid. Hold on. A little mangle, a little mangle D's right here, a little Mangalorian. Just absolutely melted that guy. Oh, okay, yeah, I am loving this thing, boys. <laughs> Let's go. This build is solid too. Pretty accurate. I don't like the way it ADSs though, but you know, I mean, it's the performance that matters, right boys? It's the performance that matters. There we go, we got our little reward rift ski. Uh, let this guy in real quick, real quack. Uh, hold on, okay. Missed a jump because of it. It's okay, brother. It's okay. We made it. Alright, let's see what's in there. A little legendary tool pack tree crystal. A little crystal. A little crystallion. Megal. <laughs> Megal crystallion. <laughs> oh god. Alright, let's go for that bounty contract back there. See what little target we get to start things off. I'm gonna actually take this little zip ski right here. Let's go. Cool. Oh, we're on tap to interact too. We're gonna have to swap over to uh, tap to reload once we go to the dark ether. Let's see what's in there. Some essence for us. Well, it's cool. All right. Some more essence right there. Nice. And we made it to the bounty contract. All right. Let's see what target we get here. Hopefully it's a little mega bomb nizzle, a little disciple, a little succubus, a little dick apple. All right. Where's he going to spawn? Okay. Way back there. All right. Let's go ahead and scorch our way over there. Our teammate has a blood burner back there. He should be catching up soon. Hopefully. <laughs> All right, let's see how quickly we can kill this guy. So we do need to be up close and uh, try to hit a few headies, but it should be a very fast kill. There we go. He's right back here. Let's get a bit, a uh, bit closer to him. And and we still haven't cracked his armor. Now we did. Health bar is dropping though. Ours is as well. Ours is as well. There we go. Wait, how is he healing us through the wall, dude? supposed to block it okay come over here hit them crits oh my god dude 
Yeah, this thing melts, boys. You just like glitch through the wall there. There we go. Keep hitting those criticals. He's about to die. And there we go. Contract complete. A little tombstone in there. Cryo freeze. Why not? Thank you very much. There's another bounty contract real close to us. Uh, did these guys ask to join a second ago? There's no, uh... Hold on, I'll send them an invite. See what happens here. See what happens, brothers. There we go. Alright, let's pick up this bounty contract right here. See what target we get. And it's a mangler. A little mangle these. Alright, so he's way back there over at the gas station. Yeah, close. Okay, right by the bridge. There's a few new spawns, dude. I'm liking this. Alright, someone's pleading for help further back as well. Let's just quickly kill this mangler. And uh, then we'll go help that guy out. There we go. Cracked his armor. We can start hitting criticals. We're about to go down. No, we survived because we're G's. Obviously. Dude, look at his health bar drop. Let's take the risk. There we go, we got it. A legendary tool and a self-rizzle. A little self-riz. A little self-riz me up, fam. Alright, let's go. Let's go pick this guy up back here. Alright, uh, no bounty contract up anyways, so... Ooh, someone's on him? Okay, they got him. Awesome, let's go. Such a good community. Alright, let's see what's in here. A little symbol monkey. Nice. Alright, so I'm thinking to uh, just try to get as many perks and stuff as possible off the contracts, and once we're ready to go to the Elder Dark Ether, we'll just, you know, I'll just get over there, you know, maybe hit a little buy station if we need something else. And there's still no contracts. Alright, I'll get back to you boys once a bounty spawns in. Okay, so there's probably going to be a bounty contract that spawns in either here or here next. It could also be this back spawn, but hopefully not. So I'll just chill around here and see which one spawns in first. Hopefully we called it and it's actually going to be in uh, this building down here. Oh no, they're going for the spore. Brother, brother, let's do the spore, brother. Let's go for it, brother. Yeah, this is gonna be easy. Well, to be fair, there's a bounty back there, dude. Come on, man. Um, are they going for the spore? No. Oh, look at that. Someone confirmed it. Let's go. Let's grow. All right. Try to scorch over there. There's a whole team nearby, so and we're gonna have to get lucky here. Okay, there's another bounty right back there, but that team's going for it. Someone left our squad. No problem. All right, let's drop in. Here we go. A little bounty contract. Let's see what target we get here. And it's a Mega Abominizzle. Let's go. Worst spawn, though. It's one back there over uh, that billboard's at. Do not like this spawn, but let's see how this gun does against the Mega. I'm pretty sure it's going to slap this guy. Alright, let's drop in. Let's try to trigger a laser. There we go. There we go. Okay, we could... We we were not able to down him. We were... We were not able to down him, boys. We were unsuccessful there. Okay. Thought we could break a face quickly. How far is our teammate at? Because, uh... Yeah, he is not in range for a res, dude. Um... Okay, hold on. What we'll do is I will quickly let this guy deal with the Mega while I go for teammate. There we go. Let's unping that and try to ping close to the teammate just so... Uh... Okay, dude. He's about to bleed. No way, brother. Oh, God. Wait, where did he die at, though? Dude, what... Oh my god. Okay, hold on. I got you, fam. I got you. Just a little bit more. Alright, get up. Have a coffee. A little cigarette. You'll be good. You'll be good. Stop laying there. You're alright, brother. You're alright. Alright, let's go back to the Mega Bomb and Nizzle. Go help out KLKMMG. My G, my teammate. My little teammate ski. Hey, you're... Okay, yeah, you got him over to the billboard. Perfect. 
It's gonna get those laser attacks to come in. <laughs> no. He did not just go down again, did he, boys? Okay, let's just fry the... Ooh. 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 Let's fry absolutely nothing is what I meant to say there. Let's go. We did run out of ammo. Hold on. Let's get that reload. A little reload ski. Just a few more shots. And there we go. We got him, boys. We got him. A little refined crystal. Dead shot we already had. Brain rod in there. Uh, did we pick up dead shot? Yeah, we did. All right. Let's drop that. All right. What you got, fam? What you got? Ooh. A little extra self rizzle. Thank you. I'll go drop that for teammate. Um, where did he bleed out at? Way over yonder. Jeez, man. Oh, he's got PhD flopper on the ground, too. Hold on. Hold on. I, I, I'm coming, fam. I'm coming, brother. Drop the flopper. Okay, he didn't drop it. He didn't drop it. Okay, let's go for the res real quick. Damn it, Bobby. All right. Brother, 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 brother. Oh, God. Okay. Now I'm coming. I'm coming. Let's uh, drop that right there. Chuck a little, a little how you doing over there. All right, pick up this self res, brother. Pick it up, fam. There we go. All right, we got a bounty contract back there. I might end up leaving squad here, boys. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, he's going to the tier two. So uh, we might as well. All Gucci. Continue to sting solo. All hand solo. All right, let's come in here. I think after this one, we'll hit a buy station, maybe grab an extra self res or two, and some Kazis, hit the perk machine, and uh, start getting ready for that Elder Dark Ether run. We just canceled the Scorcher there. <laughs> Alright, got a little Disciple, a little Succubus. Let's go say hello to him. Got the IRS back here. What? Huh? Huh? <laughs> I didn't say nothing. I said, I said nothing, boys. I said nothing. Okay, can't go through that window. All right. All right. All right. There we go. Sounded like Central C there for a second. Okay. Come on, decide. Oh, yeah. Just chill right there. Never mind. Don't chill there, I guess. I guess not. Okay, we're beaming him, cooking that disciple, hitting the headies, and we're out of ammo. Brother, brother. Okay, hold on. Stop moving, brother. There we go. That's gonna hit him. Is there no ammo on the ground, dude? It's wild. We fried a few zombies back here. Um, okay, so ammo is, you know, it's a slight issue with this gun. It's the second time we've run out. Uh, and there's no zombies nearby, dude. <laughs> what? Come on, disciples, spawn a couple. I swear, when you need the zombies to spawn, you don't find any. There's some ammo on the ground now. No, just armor. Boys. Okay. So this again, I know there's an ammo depot behind us. I know. I'm trying to, you know, get some ammo off these boys. There we go. There we go. We got some ammo there. Okay. There we go. Okay, let's back up. He's probably gonna come our way. Let's just chuck a little, little uh, distractor grenade. And there we go. Nice. A little self res speed killer. Okay, not bad, not bad. Yeah, so uh, just make sure you're really, really, really close when you're using this gun. Don't shoot from too far away or you'll just burn through ammo. That's all you have to do. Now, if you're fighting disciples, just make sure you have a few decoys. Throw those to, you know, get rid of the zombies that are going to surround you. And just cook that guy. You'll be good to go. So that's all it was. We ran out of ammo because we just were not using this thing right. <laughs> Took us a minute to find the strategy, boys. Took us a minute. And there's no contracts anywhere. Brother. All right, we might as well hit buy station quickly and, uh, ooh, a bounty just spawned in and that guy's going for it. All right. I'll get, wait, is he not going for it? Hold on, hold the phone. Guess we can. Yeah, he's definitely not going for this one. Okay, nice. All right, let's drop in right here. There we go. Got the bounty contract. Let's see what target we get here. And it's a Mimic, a little Mimic of Lewinsky. Let's 
fly back here. Yeah, tier 3 is pretty packed. Tier 3 is packing, boys. Alright, uh, where's this mimic at? Right back there. Okay, all good, all good. Let's get nice and close to him. Oh my god, yeah. Just those few shots, dude. Damage output is insane. Yeah, this thing is, yep. <laughs> this is gonna get hit with a nerf pretty soon, bro. It has to. There's no way they're letting us have this much fun. Just a normal mimic right there. I mean, just look at how quickly we kill that guy. Jeez, dude. Okay. This thing's probably perfect for the Elder Rift, too, or... <laughs> unstable Rift, rather. Unstable Rift. That's what I said. That's what I meant to say. Okay. Yeah, I guess we could go for that back there. Start perking up, get a couple Al Percuccinos, and uh, hit the buy station after. Yeah, we're pretty much set up, to be honest. Don't need more than this. We also have the uh, decoys, so we don't really need Casimirs, you know? Um, there we go, we'll get this. There's another bounty that just spawned, and someone's going for it. Never mind. Alright, let's hit the buy station, and uh, if there's no bounty contract that spawns in in the meantime, then I'll see you boys by the Dark Aether portal. Okay, there is a bounty that spawned in back there. We're pretty much set up for the Elder Dark Aether run, but you don't know. Let's see what we can do. Oh no, dude. No! It didn't put us in Superman mode for it. Damn it. Should have just scorched twice. It's all good though. They got it. Alright, I'll see you boys once we're by the portal bag here. Okay, these boys want to uh, join the squad. Alright, we're gonna fight a little Mimeski here. Oh, never mind, it's Mega. Mega Bomb! Okay, I'll help these boys out, why not? Let's go. Get a little laser attack going. A little. Okay, we just sensed to kill that guy, nice. Not gonna complain, a little goal. Solid, solid, not liquid. Let's have a little look here. Yeah, there's no bounties. Alright, let's uh, leave squad, help these boys out, use the Elder Sigil, accept that teleport, and I'll see you all in the Elder Dark Aether. And there we go, boys. We made it to the Elder Dark Aether. So once you spawn in, just turn around and run into this warehouse building right here. This is where you find the first contract, being the bounty contract. So that's going to be right here in this corner. Let's just pick that up. There we go. Got a little Mega Abomination as our target. Now you can get all the normal tier 3 targets here in the Elder Dark Aether, but Mega Abominations are the most common target to get. Now his spawn point static over at C8 on the map. And once we fly closer, you're going to see there's a bunch of fog that rolls in. There we go. So it's going to be super hard to fight him and all the zombies constantly spawning on you. So, let's just drop in. There we go, laser's coming in already, so let's just quickly destroy one of his faces. There we go. Yeah, this thing is stupidly overpowered. So pretty much just get his attention and lure him over to this parking lot area back here. The reason why we bring him over here is because there's a ladder there, there's a ladder here, and there's these containers back here. So just get on top of something and he's gonna hit you with a laser. And if you have thermites, just throw those while he's shooting at you with the laser attack. It instantly destroys that face. Look at that, he's halfway. A bit more than halfway. Another laser, threw it at that face, and there we go. It's an instant kill. Super easy to kill them, boys. Super easy. Oh, let's drop the self res. Actually, I'll take the VR. There. Ooh, that's a lot of zombies right there. Crazy. What did we just run into, dude? There we go. Just quickly use this thing. Take care of all these boys. This gun is absolutely insane. Dude. I mean, come on. Boys, use this gun in the firing range against the dummies, and then use it here in zombies. It's actually... It's crazy, dude. And that is wild. I did not think it would be this overpowered. I, I was honestly mentally prepared for a challenge video. Let's put it that way. There we go. Picked up the Outlast contract. You find this on this rooftop right here. That's E7 on the map. It's going to ping the PND device over at the diner. So let's just make our way back over here. Back over there. Wait, the map is completely glitched out back here, boys. Y'all seeing this? 
It's wild. It's like only now spawning stuff in. There's zombies spawning back there, even though it's outside of. The okay, we're not gonna talk about it. All right, let's activate this PND here. A little PNGZ. Okay, so we are. Uh, yeah, we're on tap to interact. So it's gonna bug out. It's gonna bug out, boys. We're gonna have to swap over to uh, tap to reload. So we're gonna go down here for a second, but it's all good. I do not mind. That's going to be down here somewhere, right? Prioritize interact. Tap to reload. How did we serve? How did we survive? Boys, how did we survive this exactly? I do not know. There were so many zombies next to us there. There we go. So yeah, all you do is just chill in this back room here and fry all the zombies coming your way. Now, if you have a bad gun, the strategy is not going to work. You're going to have to stay in the room where you activated the PND and just train the zombies around. But if you've got this thing or anything good, you can you can roll with this strategy. You should be all right. There we go. Also, of course, there's plates on the ground and stuff for you to slap on. If you need ammo, there's more than enough on the ground from the zombies you're killing. There we go. Yeah, this gun is actually stupidly overpowered, dude. The high fire rate too like sure you have to tap your trigger that you know might get a bit annoying over time but it's you know it's worth it damage output is honestly insane there we go a little little disciple back there a little irs hold on let's do that okay so we're close to finishing the contract i like to run into this main room the reason why I do that is because when you finish a contract it's going to send out a shockwave and as you can see all the zombies just died at this we got a little elder sigil in there it's actually perfect let's take care of these boys here there we go i mean dude just look at that <laughs> all right what's in here whole lot of nothing let's just double check guess we can leave the vr in there i have way too many of those and we already have one on us so here we gucci we gucci now, once you finish that contract, there's only one more contract to do, and that's on the roof of the mall. Now, you can either run into that back corner right there, or you can just run straight into this little room here, because this is where you find an ether tier. Of course, this is only if you don't have a scorcher with you. So just run into that. That'll shoot you up into the sky, and then you can just land on the mall. And this is the Ether Extractor contract, and that's exactly why I bring Casimirs in, because they pretty much do all the work for you. So let's use our Scorcher here. Scorch over towards the first extractor right here. There we go. Okay, we have Healing Aura instead of uh, Ether Shroud, just from recording that episode 5 for Noob to Pro. So uh, yeah, we're going to have to remember to swap over later on. There we go. One extractor disabled. Now, while running towards the second extractor, open up your bag and equip the extra Casimir. Just so you have two equipped, so you don't have to open up your bag later on. There we go. Throw it right at that wall. Nice. Then start running towards the third and final extractor back here. And we're just going to throw a little Casimir right there next to it. Once again, get this bad boy disabled. Nice, and that's pretty much contract complete right there. Let's just wait for this to blow. Beautiful little pack two crystal. A little. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're gonna have to. Uh, gonna have to adjust this quickly. Yeah, there we go. We'll take that, and we'll take the elder sigil. Nice. That's looking good. Much better. So uh, yeah, the Morris conversion kit gets a ten out of ten. This thing is just stupidly overpowered. Just if you're finding HPTs, make sure you're actually really close to them. As we saw with that disciple when we ran out of ammo, as soon as we got super close to him, like we just fried that guy. We would not have run out of ammo if we were using this thing properly the whole time. But, you know, every gun takes a minute to learn how to use it, right? So we're good. We're good. Uh, 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 yeah, 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 we are. We're not good, boys. We're not good. We're not good, boys. Okay, we have an extra self-res. We're Gucci. <laughs> Never mind. So, uh, yeah, this thing gets 10 out of 10. If you guys have any suggestions for weapons you'd like to see me check out, then be sure to drop a comment below. Thank you all for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button, comment with any suggestions for future videos, and don't forget to subscribe to share your support to the channel. I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night, wherever in the world you are. 
And as always, goodbye.